Well, the place is unique. Eh? There's no place like this on Earth. Eh? When we come to Namakuland and the Sakhalin Guru, I, as I said, I've been here 20 years and I'm still just barely scratching the surface in terms of what there is to see. This area has the longest history of mining in South Africa and mining's left nothing here. The plants growing in deserts and the species are naturally adapted to drought. But superimpose on that intensive agriculture and mining and that, the species' ability to respond naturally. Some species are not able to cross this landscape, particularly small animals or reptiles or things like that. That's where the concept of corridors, ecological corridors or climate change corridors get very important. I like maintaining large areas in the landscape that actually link up north and south and east and west. At least there'll be one avenue in the landscape that is open for species to, to move through. But I think certainly 20, 30 years time, we're going to see the major economic drive in this area is going to be nature-based tourism uh, and other nature-based industries. The air is clean, there's just wide open landscapes, so on, on let's say a spiritual level, it's a very empowering place. Yeah, so one place you come where silence is absolute. Food for the soul, that stuff. <laughs>